takes Gottfried to within two points of the set. First service. And that uh, shot from Gottfried, which Sadri was hoping would clear the baseline, but didn't, gives Brown Gottfried three set points. The big Sadri serve takes care of set point number one. Game and first set to Gottfried, seven games to five. The first set, 7-5. And Gottfried now had the bit between his teeth and he took the second set and the match at 6-3. If you were with us this afternoon, there was a doubles match then on court and we promised you the result. And it was a victory for Austin and Fritz Buning. They beat John McEnroe and Peter Fleming, 6-4, 6-7, 6-3. So the final tomorrow afternoon of the Stella Artois Championship will once again feature John McEnroe. He's won the title for the last two seasons. And if he produces form like this, what will Brian Godfrey's his opponent, be able to do? Well, join us on Sunday Grandstand to find out. Oh, I say that's a miraculous shot. That's a miraculous shot. for Sunday night here on 2. At 7.15, Georgi Zamfir joins Nana Mascuri in her world of music. At 8.15, a profile of Dame Alicia Markova, Britain's first prima ballerina. So you're light. I, I, I couldn't imagine life without music and flowers, I think. At 9.15, Private Schultz enlists help to retrieve his missing fortune. I'm fond of the English. Very brave people. I'm no English, I'm a Scotsman. You'd never know. The film of the week at ten past ten is The Disappearance, an atmospheric thriller starring Donald Sutherland as a hired assassin. <laughs> International tennis at 11.50 features highlights of tomorrow's finals in the Stella Artois Grass Court Championships, rounding off programmes for Sunday evening here on 2. And now to end this Saturday evening, the Midnight Movie. Doug Bogart and Sylvia Sims are the stars of one of the most courageous British films of its time, the early 1960s, Victim. <laughs> 